Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max enthusiasts, welcome to my 3D Corner. In today's episode we're going to talk about volumetric lights and how to create volumetric lights in Corona Render. Uh, as you can see here I have a render that I made a couple of years ago where I used the uh, volumetric lights, but the volumetric lights are not in the whole scene. As you can see in this render they are actually only on this part here where we have these lights and we have a little bit in the background also here i used an image from uh, amsterdam where i'm living i also took this picture in the in that place and yeah the only thing that i used from the image were the, these buildings which are here behind and the tall building and the water and the rest of the things were made in corona render so if you are curious how to create this kind of uh, volumetric lights as you can see here yeah you can just follow this video and I'm going to explain you everything so if you guys are ready let's just jump in So first of all, we are going to use uh, this uh, 3D model as a reference and image behind is just uh, for you to see something. It's just for you to uh, have it as a reference. So it's not just a white background. So yeah, for those who are actually following me on my Patreon as a Padawan, for example, they can download this 3D model. It is just uh, three euros per month. So it's not that expensive. I think everyone can afford that. And uh, yeah, if you just want to follow me and to do exactly what I'm doing in this episode just go to my patreon and download this file from there so we can do everything together in the same time let's jump into the problem so yeah as you can see this is the 3d model yeah I just modeled this It's a very simple 3d model as you can see the first thing that we're going to do is uh, to create a light here uh, right now we have a light material into into this as you can see here yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit more light maybe in this one for now just to be sure that it's uh, powerful enough and now i'm just gonna go to the corona light to the light tab and i'm gonna go to corona and here from the corona light i'm gonna pick one and using the auto grid i can just create a light directly on this face as you can see this is our light if you go to local aligned the gizmo is going to be perpendicular on your light as you can see here and uh, yeah you can also move it and because the light is going on the other direction and we can just change that very easily by using the mirror on the z-axis and click ok you can just move this a little bit more here i'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller also so the directionality needs to be zero in the beginning so it's going in all directions and i'm just gonna make this uh, the radius 100 maybe yeah this should be fine it just needs to be there and uh, the next thing that i'm going to do is to create a bigger uh, gizmo size so yeah the maximum is 99 in this case and i'm also going to use a target just to have it in here okay and what we're going to do next is to connect the light to the lamp i already made a tutorial about this on my youtube channel if you are curious how to do this so yeah, this is the video where I'm explaining exactly how to create this uh, kind of uh, lights which are connected with your spotlight. So in the moment that you are manipulating the, the target spot, the light is following along. So if you guys are curious, yeah, just go to my YouTube channel and you can just follow this, uh, this video. Okay, this is uh, my light. And my object, uh, what I'm going to do next is to create a cylinder, which is here. And I'm using also the auto grid. I'm just going to go here underneath. I'm going to isolate this. And create my... Cylinder. I'm just gonna yeah do the height longer have less segments in here and then at the end I'm gonna apply an editable poly and select only these vertices and with the local align I'm just gonna scale only this to create like a cone fortunately this was not local aligned and now I'm gonna create my cone 
so this is going to determine how big is my cone and where do I want to have the volumetric lights so depending on how big is this my volumetric lights are gonna be more or less so let me so yeah let's unhide all and as you can see this is where I'm going to apply my uh, volumetric light and what I'm going to do next I'm gonna create a material in here and uh, corona volumetric material I'm gonna call it fog one and I'm gonna add to this material uh, some uh, a corona color and I'm gonna use this for absorption and scattering and I'm gonna make this a little bit darker I'm gonna hit OK and uh, then I will just apply this to my cone start the interactive let's see how it's everything looking okay I can go a little bit closer and now uh, let's just apply some distance to this in the moment that I'm applying one you can already see that it's getting a very thick uh, absorption so if I'm going further it's starting to slowly to disappear as you can see but the problem is that I'm also seeing the cone so I'm just gonna go until it is gone so in this case it's uh, yeah, 70,000 and then what I'm going to do next I'm gonna go to my light you can click on it and I'm gonna add more power to it and in the moment that I'm doing that as you can see I'm starting to see the, uh, the volumetric light in there the only problem is that I'm also seeing the, the flare but to hide that you can just uh, hide the visible in reflections reflections dep depends on how you want it and now it's just going to use and you're going to see only the material uh, from the corona light material if I zoom in as you can see is made out of a light material and the black material I'm just gonna go back now and now you can see the the volumetric light insert inside there of course you can also you can also manipulate all of this uh, you can just make it longer if you want you can scale it to have more or less as you can see and the good part is that you don't have a volumetric light inside the whole space so you are actually manipulating only your you are manipulating the volumetric light only by having this which is very helpful and if you want to have more uh, volumetric light you can just increase the light power here so you can see more and you can also if you want you can add on an IES in this so it's going to be more realistic as you can see of course you can uh, change the scale of this by having less or having more but as you can see it doesn't really matter that much because right now it's just using the IES for uh, spreading the light inside this cone so yeah this is uh, the lesson of today uh, I hope you guys enjoy it yeah this is uh, how you can create your volumetric lights only on the on your lights so you don't have you don't need to have it spread everywhere inside the render as you can see here uh, even though here I had a little bit of uh, volumetric light also in the background but most of the time I'm trying to use this technique to create volumetric lights only on your spotlights or lights or light lamps in this case so if you guys liked it please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm going to create more youtube videos in the future and please let let me know in the comments how did you find this tutorial if you liked it and if you want me to create more lessons like this in the future i also want to create a live session where i'm going to create a scene from scratch uh, till finish let me know in the comments if you what kind of lesson do you what do you want to learn if it's about the interior the exterior yeah any topic that you find useful or you don't know how to do it uh, yeah I'll try to explain it for you and to make it happen and um, until next time take care and see you in the next one bye